Hey guys, we're going to do today's lesson. Today's lesson is going to be on compound interest. All right. Which is really just an exponential growth problem, but it's money. So you guys are going to kind of want to know this stuff. All right. So compounding means that you earn interest and it is included for the next month. Okay. So you include any interest earned to figure out the next month. Okay, that's if it's compounded monthly. There's a couple of different ways to compound interest, so we're going to talk about that. All right, so in other words, if you put $1,000 in the bank and you earn $5 the first month, Okay, so now you have a thousand and five dollars, right? So the next month you're gonna earn interest on a thousand and five dollars. And then whatever interest you earn that second month is gonna get put in and you're gonna do so on and so forth. Okay, so that's compounding interest. That's how you figure out interest for almost everything. All right, so we're gonna do some vocab you need to make sure you know. The first word you need to make sure you understand is the principle. Okay, not like Mr. Edgecombe, let's spell a different way. That is the original amount. Okay, so on my mortgage, I have a principal. The principal was the original amount I had for the mortgage, the original amount I owed on the house. Okay, so if you're investing money, the principal is how much money you put into the account first. All right, then a couple other words we need to make sure we know. We need to know annual. Okay, annual is one time a year. So you hear stores have an annual sale. That means it only happens once a year, okay? Or the annual parade, okay, something like that. Now, semi-annual is definitely one you hear about for stores. Stores have semi-annual sales. Now, they tend to have more than one semi-annual sale, which makes no sense. Guys, this is two times a year. Okay, then you have monthly. Monthly is 12 times a year. Okay, I forgot one. I was trying to go in order. Okay, quarterly, that is four quarters in a dollar, right? So quarterly is four times a year. Okay, you need to know these guys. And then we have weekly. Okay, there's 52 weeks in a year. And then we have daily, which is 365 times a year. Now, some of you guys are gonna go, well, what happens when there's a leap year? No, they don't actually include that. So you're kind of getting screwed. So, okay, so daily is gonna be 365 times a year. So you need to make sure you understand those terms. Okay, so annual is one time, semi-annual is twice, quarterly is four, monthly is 12, weekly is 52, daily is 365. Those are gonna be the big ones we use. Now, here comes the important part, the formula. Okay, so you got to make sure you have this formula, make sure you write it down so that way you can use it. It's going to be P or so A equals P parentheses 1 plus R over N raised to the N times T power. Okay, so A equals P parentheses 1 plus R over N, close your parentheses and raised to the N times T power. So what do all these letters mean? So A is your final amount, okay? P we just talked about was principal. Okay. R is gonna be your interest rate. Now here's the important part. It's gonna be as a decimal. Okay, so remember, as a decimal would be two. So if I tell you you have a 5% interest rate, R would be 0 0.05, okay? N is the number of times compounded. A year. Okay, so the number of times compounded a year. Those are those terms we just went over, annually, monthly, semi-annual, quarterly, weekly, daily, those are, that's what these numbers are going to be. And then T is going to be time in years. Okay, so you need to make sure you know these. So A is the final amount, 
P is the principal, R is the interest rate, N or interest rate as a decimal, N is the number of times compounded in a year, and T is the time in years. All right, so let's get to a problem. We're going to leave this here, okay, and we're going to do it on this page. So let's say I tell you you are going to invest $1,000 in an account with a 5% interest rate compounded, oh, we're going to do that in a minute, okay, so for 10 years. Okay, so we're going to do a couple of different compoundings on this. I still don't like how it's blurry over here. All right, let me move my picture over so you guys can see what's going on. Move it up here. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to use our formula, right? Okay, so A equals P times 1 plus R over N to the NT power. All right, what I suggest you guys do is every time you do these, set up a little chart so you know what numbers you need. So you need P, you need R, you need N, and you need T. Now, we're going to be finding the final amount over here, okay? So the first one we're going to do is we're going to compound annually. We're going to do this a few times so you guys can see the difference in these. So compounding annually the first time, all right? So our principal is going to be $1,000. Our interest rate is 5%, so as a decimal, 0 0.05. We're going to compound it annually, so that's going to be a 1, and we're going to do this for 10 years, okay? So make sure you guys got that. Now, we need our formula, right? So A equals P times 1 plus R over N to the NT power, okay? Let's see if that's any better. All right, so let's start. So we need our P, so that's 1,000 times... Okay, in parentheses, we have 1 plus 0 0.05, that's our rate, over N, which is 1, and we're going to raise it to the N, so 1 times T, which is 10 power. Okay, so that's a 1. Now, let's talk about this. Guys, this is the easy part right here. The complicated part comes when you have to enter it into your calculator. Okay, so if you don't have your calculator, go grab your calculator. And we got to talk about this. So I'm going to use this calculator right here. So that one. Okay, those of you got your phone, that's fine. Again, if you have an Apple phone, make sure you unlock it before you turn it sideways so you can get the exponent button. Okay, the first thing I want you guys to do is multiply the exponent. Okay. This exponent is super easy to do, so 1 times 10, so that's just going to be 10, so go ahead and change it in the problem. Okay, we're doing an annual one, so there might be some steps that are unnecessary, but we're going to do this the same way every single time. You are going to start on the inside, okay? So you're going to start on the inside by dividing. Now, some of you guys have the calculators where you can type everything out one whole way. Don't do it, okay? Learn how to do it step by step, so that way no matter which kind of calculator, you know what you're doing. So we're going to take our calculator, we're going to do the inside part first, right? So we're going to go 0 0.05 times 1, okay? Whoops, 0 0.05 divided by 1, all right? So we're going to do that, so 0 0.05 divided by 1. Then you're going to hit equals. You got to make sure you hit equals. So again, on this one, it's one, so it's not that big of a difference, but you got to hit the equal sign. So no matter what you're doing, hit the equal sign. Okay, so after you do that, now you're going to add the one. So we're going to go plus one and then hit equals. So plus one equals. Okay, then you're going to raise it to the power. So you can do the exponent, whatever your exponent button is. So EXP, we're going to use for exponent. So on my calculator, it's this one right here. Okay, again, some of you guys have the carrot. Okay, you should know where your exponent button is based on your um, your work from the last couple of days. Okay, so we're going to raise it to the power. So we're going to raise this to the 10th power and hit equals. So raise it to the 10th power and hit equals. Now, I have that big, long decimal number. Don't worry about it. 
Then you're going to multiply that times the original amount. So we're going to go times 1,000, and we're going to hit equals. Now, I got 1628.894627. Okay? So now the key is, guys, this is money. And money always goes to two decimal places. Unless they specifically tell you to round it to the nearest whole number, you're always going to go to two decimal places because it's money. There's pennies, right? So we're going to go to this spot right here. We look behind it. That's a four. So our answer is going to stay. So it's $1,628.89. Okay? So we started with $1,000 in 10 years. We're going to have $1,628.89. Okay? So now let's do the next one. Okay, so this time we're going to do quarterly. All right, we're going to do the same numbers. Okay, so our principal is going to be 1,000. Our interest rate is still going to be 0 0.05. Now, what's going to change is our N. So we're doing it quarterly, so that means N is going to be 4 this time. And our time is still going to be 10 years. All right, okay, so we're going to go 1,000 parentheses. 1 plus 0 0.05, that's our rate, divided by n, so this time it's 4, raised to the n, which is 4, times t, which is 10 power. Okay? So, again, multiply this first, so 4 times 10, so that's now going to be 40. Okay? And inside out, so we're going to go 0 0.05 divided by 4 and hit equals. So 0 0.05 divided by 4 and hit equals. Then we're going to do plus 1 and hit equals. Then we're going to raise it to, okay, so use our exponent button, to the 40th power, because that's what our new exponent is. All right, so you can see what we got going on over here. Then we're going to multiply it times 1,000. So $1,643, and again, we're going to round it to the cents, so we're going here. So that's a 1 behind us, a 9, so it's going to jump up to 2. So $1,643.62. Okay, so before we had $1,628.89, now we have $1,643.62. So we earned a lot more money, so we earned about 15 bucks more. All right, so that's pretty good. You didn't do anything. All you did was compounded your interest more often. All right, let's do monthly, okay? So 1,000 is gonna be our principal. Our rate's still gonna be 0 0.05. Our N this time is gonna be 12. And our T is gonna be 10 still. Okay, so give it a shot, pause the video if you want, okay? Give it a shot, I'm just gonna keep on going over here, so. You should have 1,000 times 1 plus 0 0.05 divided by 12 raised to the 12 times 10 power. All right. Multiply that. That's 120. Again, inside out. So we're going to do 0 0.05 divided by 12. Then we're going to add 1. All right. Then we're going to raise it to the 120th power. And when times it by a thousand, you should have one thousand six hundred forty-seven dollars and one cent. Phone's going crazy over here. Okay. Now we're going to compare them all in a minute. All right, let's do one more of this. Okay, and then I'll show you what everything looks like. So we're going to do daily. So our P is still 1,000, our R is 0 0.05, our N is going to be 365, and our T is still going to be 10, okay? So 1,000 times 1 plus 0 0.05 divided by 365, then raise it to the 365 times 10 power, Okay, so 365 times 10, 3,650. 
So 0 0.05 divided by 365 plus 1. We're going to raise that to the 3,650 power times it by 1,000. So $1,648.66. Okay, so we only got a little bit more money. But hey, if you're not doing anything, might as well make more money. So it's $1.65. I'm okay with compounding daily if I'm just going to make $1.65. All right, so I want to look at what we got. So when we did annually, we ended up with $1,628.89. When we did quarterly, we ended up with $1,643.62. Monthly was $1,647.01, and daily was $1,648.66. Okay, so you did absolutely nothing in between annually and monthly, or sorry, annually and daily, you earned an extra 20 bucks. Okay, so now the key is if you're investing money, if you are investing money, guys, you want to compound more often, so you're kind of going to want daily. All right. Now, credit card companies, okay, guess what? Okay, they compound daily, even though you're making more money, okay, so, or they're, you're paying them more money, credit card companies actually do daily also. All right, so... I know it's not fair. So credit cards, they're daily too. So they want to make the most money off of you that they possibly can, right? So be aware of that. All right, so let's do some quick problems. Right. You put $5,000 in an account and don't touch it. for six years. Okay. It earns 3% interest compounded monthly. Okay. How much do you have at the end? Okay, so pause the video and give it a try, okay? Okay, so we got our P is 5,000, our R is 0 0.03, our N, okay, we're compounding monthly, so that's going to be 12, and our time is going to be for six years. So 5,000 times 1 plus 0 0.03 divided by 12, to the 12 times 6 power. Okay, so that's 72. So again, inside out, 0 0.03 divided by 12 plus 1, raise it to the 72 power times 5,000 to the nearest penny, so $5,984.74. Okay, hopefully you got it right. Okay, two more. Let's do another one. All right, this time, Miss T wins a scratch off. Woohoo! I win $10,000 on a scratch off. Now, I'm going to put it in the bank, okay, and not touch it for a while. Okay, so I'm going to invest it at 5%. Compounded daily, I'm picking the big one, for 20 years. Now, 20 years is when I'll be able to retire, so that's why we're doing 20 years. Okay, so $10,000, 5% compounded daily for 20 years. Okay, so how much money do I have at the end? Okay, so again, pause the video and give it a shot. Okay, pause it. All right. Welcome back. Your principal, $10,000, right? My interest rate is 0 0.05, okay? Now, our N is 365, 
and our time is going to be for 20 years. All right, so 10,000 times 1 plus 0 0.05 over 365 to the 365 times 20 power. Okay, so let's do 365 times 20. That's going to give us 7,300. Okay, inside out, so 0 0.05 divided by 365 plus 1. Raise it to the 7,300 power. Make sure you hit equal after everything. Times 10,000. That same answer. $27,180.96. I'm okay with that. I didn't do nothing. I earned myself an extra $17,000. All right, last one. All right, now this one's going to be a little different. You get $6,000, okay? Okay, so you get $6,000, but you must invest it and can't touch it for eight years. Now, eight years, I picked that because half of you are 16, so you'll be 25, okay? So now, you are gonna earn 2.5% interest compounded, we're going to go weekly. Now, here's the catch. How much interest did you earn? Okay, that's a bad question mark. Okay, so you're going to set everything up the same. Now, if you notice the question, the, the question is different. I didn't ask how much you had at the end. I asked how much interest did you earn? Okay, so it's just a one more step at the end. So we do everything the same. So our principal is 6,000. Okay, your rate, be careful. Okay, so 2.5, move the decimal twice, is going to be 0 0.025. So watch out for that. Be careful. All right. Then your or N is going to be compounded weekly, so 52. All right. And your time is going to be for eight years. So everything is going to be the same. So if you want to pause it, pause it and set it up. So 6,000 times 1 plus 0 0.025, make sure you get that zero in, over 52, and then 52 times eight years. Okay, so 52 times eight is going to give me 416, right? So 0 0.025 divided by 52 plus 1, raise it to the 416 power, and times it by 6,000. Okay, so you have $7,328.06, right? Okay, now here's the thing. That would have been an answer if I asked you how much money did you have at the end, but that's not the question. The question was how much interest did you earn? So what you're going to do is this is the final amount, right? You're going to subtract the original amount. And that's going to give you 0 0.06, that's 8, that's 2, that's 3, that's 1. That's your final answer would actually be $1,328.06. Okay, so watch that. Okay, so again, I would write this stuff out on the side. Make sure you got your formula and then be careful. Make sure you plug it into your calculator correctly. All right, hopefully this made some sense. See you guys next time.